that right? Is it, uh, is it Miss or Mrs. Ross? Miss Ross, and where are you from? Los Altos, California. Los Altos, California. Miss Ross, will you meet the panel? Panel, Miss Ross, and will you join me here, please? Uh, perhaps you know how we keep score, do you? Well, if you know how we keep score, let's let our friends in the audience and the theater and the folks at home know exactly what your line is. usual small bit of help, Miss Ross is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Miss Ross, is there a product involved in any way with what you do? Yes. Is it a useful product? Yes. Is it a product that I might use? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Lemon. Where, where, where would I use it? I guess. Would you use it? Is yes. that your question? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. If useful, but to whom? Uh, well, then, uh, it is... May we assume, Miss Ross, that it is a matter of circumstances rather than sex which determines whether you'd use this product or not? Yes. Uh, would an adult use it more than a child? Yes. Um, would a person have to be a member of a certain profession to use this? Yes. Uh, is it yeah, any... Just so that you're not misled, uh, Miss Dorothy, I think if Miss Ross will not consider it unfair, that I will say that you would have to be a member of a profession, not necessarily one singular profession. Uh, one of a number of professions could mm -hmm. use it. Uh, does it... Could we eliminate guns? Could you eliminate guns? Yes. I mean, would I be right in eliminating guns? Yes. It's something other than that. Would it be anything used in warfare? Yes. Uh, is it something bigger than uh, a Colt 44? Yes. Uh, is, it, uh, is it as big as a tank? Yes. Well, is it a tank? No. No. That makes it three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Tanks a lot. <laughs> oh, no. Dorothy. Yes. Bennett is supposed to do that. Yes. Bennett, I'm Stick sorry. It's rubbing off. <laughs> Miss Ross, uh, if this object is bigger than a tank, uh, it obviously is used in modern warfare, isn't it? Yes. Would you oh, say it was a, it for King Arthur's for mementos for movies? <laughs> would it be Would it be used? You think possibly if war broke out tomorrow, this product would be very useful in that war. Small conference. Yes. Would it be used, if it were used, by the Air Force? Could be. Has it anything to do with the rocket or missile field? Yes. Yes. That's very good. It does have something to do with the rocket or missile field. That's very good, then. Uh, <laughs> Would it be some, one of the rockets itself? Uh, one of the things that shot up, like Jupiter or Mars, or one of those uh, great missiles? No. Well, no, not, but I think here that I, perhaps I we're being a little unfair. Bennett, you oh. did find the area of the product. Now, the issue here is the relationship between the product and Miss Ross, and I'd work on that. Well, I'm sure you don't get into the nose of one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you don't fire it off. No. Do you That's have any? right. You don't fire it off, no. No. Uh, do you have anything to do with the uh, putting pieces together of this message? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Do you have anything to do with uh, protecting it or guarding it in any way? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Lemon. I'm a little confused. You, I, we assume now uh, that it, this is bigger than a tank. It but is she, a rocket. It is a rocket? It's in the, yes. The, the, rocket the product itself? has been identified. You have to now determine the relationship of the product and Miss Ross. Well, uh, <laughs> it, 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 oh, I'm sorry. I thought she had, it did not actually do the rocket, but was connected with rocket. She actually is connected with the rocket itself. The product <laughs> has been identified as in the rocket and missile area. Very yeah. 
Would you have anything to do with uh, the site or the equipment connected with the rocket in its launching? No. That would make it six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you have anything to do with designing or inspecting the rocket? Uh. Nice going, panel, because that was a tough one. Miss Roth actually designs rocket missiles and satellites for uh, Lockheed Aircraft Corporation. And uh, it's a strange, actually, I must say, and Miss Ross knows it, 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 I was a little bit uh, surprised to find that Miss Ross was in this work. She is a master of uh, science and mathematics and during the war years got into it. Yes, Tara. Actually, please. what are the dimensions of the rocket it's that you work on? Act, I will say this, that Miss Ross isn't free to discuss anything about this because oh, she's, she's in advanced designs <laughs> now and can't talk about what oh, she's okay. working on. But yeah. as you know, the rockets at uh, Cape Canaveral, well, some of them are bigger than a four-story house. Big pun? I was with Prince Philip one afternoon in Washington, and we were looking at models, and they didn't look bigger than tanks. What kind of models were you talking about? Um, <laughs> missiles. Oh, missile rockets. models. Missile models. <laughs> <laughs> Missy mo missile models. That's I right. thought, Miss Morris, you might be a person that counts backwards. You know, always fascinates me. The thought is <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, bang. <laughs> well, this has been very interesting, and thank you very much, Miss Ross. It's been an interesting visit. We hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> you take a Panel, a very good beginning. Let's see what you can do with the second challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Wilder? Wilder Widmeyer, is that right? Wilder. Wilder. Yeah, I know I was wrong. Let the record show a correction. Wilder Widmeyer. I was wrong. Where are you from, ma'am? Fergus, Ontario, Canada. Fergus, Ontario, Canada, and is it Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. 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 With my the panel, panel, Mrs. Mitch, will you come over here and join me? Now, do they uh, let you know up in Fergus how we keep score? Yes. Well, if they let you know how we keep score, we'll let the people at home and everybody in the theater except the panel know exactly what your line is. Mrs. Whitmire is self-employed, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Miss Whitmire, there's an awful lot of fur up in Canada. Uh, could we rule that out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Are you unconnected with fur? Unconnected with fur, yes. Uh, the, the audience seemed rather amused at your profession. Uh, do you have fun at it? Yes. Do you think that anyone on this panel would enjoy what you do? Under certain circumstances, you'd enjoy it, and under other circumstances, you might not. Oh. Uh, could both the male members, members as well as the female members, uh, enjoy uh, whatever it is Mrs. Miss Wood Woodmire does? Yes. Uh, is it something for grown-ups? You mean for grown-ups alone? No, but could grown-ups participate? Well, obviously, that's been answered, hasn't it? Uh, do you, do you ever um, advise or instruct or guide anyone? Yes. Just in a manner of speaking, I should think you could be described <coughs> doing that. You, you're self-employed. Yes. Do, you do you take them around and show them things? No. No, I don't think we can say that uh, you take them around and show them things. That's one down to nine to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Widmeyer, this is out of the questioning. Fergus, Ontario, isn't that near Toronto? It, it isn't far from Toronto, is it? Uh, about 70 miles. 70 miles. I'm just curious. Uh, do you have anything to do professionally, Miss Widmeyer, with criminals or lawbreakers? <laughs> <laughs> no. Leaving uh, Mrs. Widmeyer's personal opinions out, we'd have I to answer no. That's too down to date to go, Miss Francis. Are you associated in your work with any kind of locomotion other than your own particular two feet? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Is it some sort of a vehicle? No. No. That makes it three down and seven to go, Mr. Lemon. Well, this I assume I would come to you for your services rather than you come to me? 
Yes. Oh, well. Uh, well, do, do you uh, come in physical contact with whoever you are performing your services for? No. For this is not to rule out th that as an, a possibility, but it's highly mm -hmm. unlikely, and the uh, contact is not necessary, and we might say should not be had. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Could I have a brief definition of a vehicle? A vehicle? Uh-huh. A vehicle is uh, a device uh, substantially described as four-wheeled or two-wheeled by which human beings convey themselves from one place to another, either under <laughs> the impetus of a gasoline engine or by the uh, use of some animal. Oh. Uh, this, then you would not consider something that was in the air or afloat at sea? Oh, we'd, we'd be glad to consider that those were vehicles for the purposes of this oh. program or any other program. So, Ms. Whitmire, that well, that's what puzzles me. She yes. has to do with locomotion, but not a vehicle. The question, as it was put by Miss Francis, had a rather particular character which you would do well oh. to recall. Would you care to reprieve? Uh, 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 I think it would be we... unfair to Mrs. Widmeyer at this case to allow any reprieve. You Couldn't we have a conference? Question. May we have a conference? You may have ten seconds for a conference. What did you say, Arlene? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't well, remember. Philadelphia lawyers. This speech was so long, it's not everything out of my head. You said that she had anything to do with locomotion head. except her I, own two feet? Other than her own two feet. But what it might be is she might have something on her two feet, like, like roller skates or oh. skis. Or, well, I don't know. Do you have anything on your feet or hands where you are locomoting? You mean, <laughs> does Mrs. Widmeyer wear shoes? Is that your question? No, something more interesting than shoes. No. That's fine. That's five down and five down. to go, Mr. Okay. Sir. Miss Widmeyer, uh, when you are concerned <laughs> with this vehicle, no, no, the, the locomotion, locomotion, does the locomotion go up and down? <laughs> no. <It laughs> That's not, not important, go no, Miss Francis. It goes back and forth. Goes back and forth sometimes. It's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Is it alive, this uh, locomotion? <laughs> I'm very much alive, yes. The locomotion's alive, too. <laughs> it would be terrible if it no, weren't. But I mean, uh, as Bennett suggested, is this an animal that is associated in your, in your movement? No. no. That makes no. seven down and three to go. I know. What? Does it go sideways? She no, shot sideways. out of something. No. Well. Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do, do you do a lot of getting around yourself in some interesting manner other than walking? Other than walking, that She's would make it uh, nine down and one to go, Mr. Right. Sir. Ms. Wedmeyer, would you say mm -hmm. that your occupation mm -hmm. might come under the heading of athletics? Yes. Uh, you were some kind of an athlete yourself? No, that makes it ten down and no more to go. Mrs. Widmeyer is a baseball and softball umpire. I, guess you got it. <laughs> I got it too late. And is a registered umpire for amateur baseball and softball <coughs> in Ontario. And the thing that fouled us all up was that Arlene's question had specific reference to locomotion other than uh, your own two feet. Well, all the players are running around the bases all the time, locomoting like mad with their feet. <laughs> Tough, isn't it? Well, there you are. Thank you very much. <laughs> we had a lot of fun.